until the return of the champions, tossing aside all opposition chaos who continue their unbeaten ways with strength and speed, a steely eye for the opportunity. Whatever the challenge, chaos who rose above it, they're through to the semi-finals. Now, who will join them from the second heat as we get... Whippersnappers are. Well, it's interesting to see Pussycat here in the second battle, disqualified in the last wars for having an illegal play, but in the first battle, Robo Chicken and Velociraptor have against the number three seat Razor. Shows us with them in the pitch. Okay, here is Velociraptor, the guys from Nottingham. Hi guys. Now, this robot apparently uses technology of the future, technology of cars, because if it's rolled, apparently it will always end on its wheels. Well, good luck to you guys. Stiff competition here today, though. Uh, yes, there is, uh, but uh, Razor, you know. Hmm. Can you tell him it might be his final conflict? Ooh, fighting talk! I will tell him indeed. Good luck to you guys. Now, the next team are all on chicken. <laughs> the first time in London, I think. <laughs> and here we have a Razor. Oh, with your lucky mascots on top. Yeah, there they are. How are you doing, guys? Very well. How's the arm going? Because this is what we let you down last time, isn't it? You pinned yourself to the floor yeah. of the arena. It's working perfectly. All yeah? redesigned yes. and sorted. Little valve got stuck in uh, almost think this time. Now, uh, Velociraptor, I think it might be your final conflict. <laughs> No, no chance. We're just scared. just talking any sort of gibberish because they're so scared. Uh, <laughs> well, it's their third horse and third time lucky, guys. Alrighty. This is it, folks. Fighting time. Let the wars begin. Rob Ball, seat number three. They hold the international league title and just about everything else except the grand title. Team captain Ian Lewis swims with sharks for fun. The nine-ton hydraulic fierce on razor can do as much damage as a great white. And they destroyed just about everything the best of the globe could offer in the international league championship. Winning that trophy. And for those of you who've been lucky enough to see the first world championship, you'll know how razor got on in that. But in the third wars, celebrating victory prematurely, they stuck themselves to the arena floor, an invitation to the house robots to come in to destroy. I'm Names Ian Lewis, team captain of Team Razor. I'm Simon Scott. And I'm Vinny Kirk. And we're back with our terrible, vicious looking machine, Razor. Still with nine tons of squeezeability, we're here to trash some more robots and claim our prize this time. Yeah. From Nottingham. The Velociripper. Took part in the shocker competition last time. Good to see Velociripper back in the main event with the front battering ram and rear spike bumpers. The body's armor plated steel and the Ripper does have that three mech, a self riding mechanism. It may be the smallest in this heat, but size doesn't matter if you've got skill. Good driving technique in the soccer last time around. Just watch with this sort of burst of pace in the main event this time. Hi, my name's Trevor Wright. I'm the captain of the Velociraptor team. This is my teammate, Tony Hillier, and this is my son, Matthew. We're back with Velociraptor to fight another war. Its main weapon is a front and rear spikes that are made from armor, 8mm armor plate. It's powered with a 12-volt starter motor. Because it only has one single motor, unlike other robots which have two motors, and they use that to steer them, this has power steering on the front. The motor comes from the window winder of the Mondeo. The reason for the power steering is that the servos aren't strong enough to move the wheels with the weight of the robot. From Tiverton in Devon, 
Brilliantly created from the pneumatic ticking speak weapon to the eyes made of toilet ball cocks and the crest made of a rubber glove, the shell and chassis is sprung steel. But where's the wishbone? I promise you, we'll have it. Hi, I'm Jason Snow, team captain. Here's team member Alec Dick. Hi, this is the multi powered Pekka. This weapon is designed for causing maximum damage to soft body panels. Here is Farron White. Hi, yeah. This here at the back here is a poultry flipping device. This we hope will cause mayhem in the arena. Roboteers, stand by. Well, there you have it then. Razor with team captain Ian Lewis, Simon Scott and Vincent Blood. Robo Chicken and the captain Jason Snow there in the middle. And Velocer Ripper, team captain Trevor Wright, Matthew his son and Anthony Hillian. Three, two, one. Will this be Racer's Championship at last? Quickly on to the attack and don't count your chickens before they're uh, shredded, demolished. The flipper's going to be no good, the boggle eye's no good against Razor. Razor already picking off the weakest of the opponents. Perhaps Ian Lewis and Simon Scott and Vincent Blood have said, well, Robo Chicken has to be the weakest. Shannon's chassis sprung steel, lightweight but tough, but they're now on the attack on Velocer Ripper. And that body is steel and armour plated. Nothing will resist the nine tons of squeezeability of Razor's beak, claw, jaw, whatever you want to call that. Vulture's weapon, oh look at this robo chicken simply lifted along, taken towards the pits, or will it be towards the burning torch? Ah, yes! Imagine a bit of barbecue chicken. Well, it's not on the menu yet. Not a way, I think, but look at this. Mm. What do you want, a wing? A bit of breast? What? Mm. This burning chicken in the arena. We have long dreams about this. In preparation for a series. Oh, let me get back to the reality. Sorry, I was just... Uh, other things there, but here we go now. Razor on the attack of Robo Chicken again. Piercing. In towards the heart of the matter, the very heart of Robo Chicken. Oh, and the eyes, can they see glory ahead? No, only despair. But very nearly Razor overbalancing there. They were slightly overconfident in the last wars. Go so towards that CPZ, you're in trouble because out come the house robots. That's dead metal. A dead end in the way of Robo Chicken. Velociripper has got away almost got free. Danced around the arena, kept out of trouble until now. And a puncture mark to remind Velociripper. A battle with the Razor. And now on the flame pit. Oh, goodness me. Velociripper's on fire for the minute. Got away onto the arena sidewalk. And I wonder if they're immobilised, or I wonder if the engines have been burnt out, Velociripper. Certainly the Razor team on top, Velociripper I think has been immobilised. Robo Chicken is still bravely clucking on. Velociripper in trouble there from Killalot. So Killalot with that hydraulic cutting claw adapted from the jaws of light used by rescue services. Thrasher, kill a lot, into the pit, and it's been lots of ripper that goes. Razor, of course, survives, and so does Robo Chicken. Well, the lot of ripper is out first, but to kill a lot as he puts it in the pits. Razor and Robo Chicken go through. Oh, how's it feel? A bit good. Yeah. Good fight, though. Yeah, it was. Look at that hole. It missed everything underneath. I can't fit that one, the little one. Then straight through the steering, and that was it. All I got was forwards and backwards. Oh, no. I tried to bounce off the walls to get some steering, but that was a lot. But uh, I set a target this year getting on the show. And I'm a bit gutted, but I've enjoyed it all the same. Despite the enjoyment, Velociripper go out. Razor and Robo Chicken survive, and in the next battle, we'll see that much fancy Millie Ambo back again and Reptiran. Jules is with them in the pits right now.